The JBL Pro Connect app is a universal control application available for Android and iOS phones and tablets. JBL Pro Connect opens up a world of possibilities for hands-on control over a full suite of mixer, DSP, and Bluetooth features. When you first open up the app, you're greeted with the setup screen. First, let's get connected to our new PRX1 speaker. To add a speaker, press this Add Speakers button. This new window will show, and the app will automatically start to search for any available speakers. We see our speaker has shown up here as JBL PRX1. Tap it, and the app will return to the setup screen with our newly connected speaker. If the app is unable to find your speaker, try performing a factory reset by accessing the menu settings and selecting the factory reset option. The speaker will reboot on its own, and you can try to find the speaker again after it's fully booted. If you're using more than one speaker, you can use this locate button here to identify the speaker that you're looking at on the app. All of the channel lights on the speaker will flash to let you know that it's in locate mode. Once you've identified the speaker, you can rename it if you'd like by pressing the rename button here. We've only got the one speaker for now, so I'll leave it as is. The save button is used to create snapshots. A snapshot is the current state of the speaker, including all of its levels and DSP settings. I'm going to go ahead and create a new snapshot. Let's just name it three piece band. Now we can see our new snapshot here. And once we make changes to our speaker, we can come back and save, rename, or delete the snapshot. If you want to remove a speaker from the space here, just press the delete button. It will ask you if you're sure, then confirm. If you have more than one speaker, you can group them by pressing this chain button in the corner. Select which group you want your speaker assigned to, and then tap the check here to confirm. You'll now see the speakers in their group with the master group volume and mute control. To delete the group, press this button on the left side of the group, and it will ask you to confirm. Before we get into making changes on our speaker, we should make sure everything is up to date. You can press these settings and firmware buttons to see app and speaker versions. Press this refresh icon to check and make sure that our speaker is up to date, and it tells us that it is. Now let's start making some changes on our speaker. Pressing the speakers tab on the right will get us to the speaker screen. Here you can see each of your speakers with master volume and mute control under its name. With the EQ selected to the left of the fader, you will see the master speaker DSP, including the EQ, limiter, and DBX over easy compression. Pressing the AFS button will bring up the menu for the DBX automatic feedback suppression options. Pressing the name of your speaker at the top here will bring us into the channel mixer mode. Upon first visiting the channel mixer mode, you will see the EQ section here at the top, along with each of our individual channels at the bottom, like a traditional mixer. Each channel has its own volume, mute, effects, and EQ. Pressing the buttons to the left of the fader like the dynamics button will bring that section to the top view for that respective channel. If you press these dots here at the bottom, you will find the options for phantom power, renaming the channel, and the ducker settings. The last channel on our channel mixer view here is for the FX returns. Pressing this FX settings button will bring up the settings for the reverb, delay, chorus, and DBX subsynth. Up here at the top of the screen, you'll find a master effects toggle as well as the delay tap tempo. Finally, our pass-through settings are here next to the master speaker volume. Press the pass-through settings here to see the pass-through settings on the top section. You can enable pass-through here as well as adjust crossover and delay settings. And that's all for our ProConnect app overview. For more news, product information, and troubleshooting tips, visit us at jblpro.com or our Anytime Help Center at help.harmonpro.com.